people who hesitate. If, if you hesitate, how will you get a job? Tell me. Doesn't matter. And you are a lawyer. You are a lawyer. And how can you have such a diffident attitude? Are we Sir, doing I... something? Are we doing something illegal? Sir, I Are take we... my word. I take my words back, sir. Uh, you may please proceed with the same. Achha. Good. No, no, I'm not threatening you for this, Mr. Abhishek. But uh, honestly, I can I can appreciate if the hesitation is from a girl. I can uh, hesitate uh, when we are <laughs> talking something personal. In as uh, much as we are only sharing knowledge. And it okay. is a it is a common thing. Only because I have been sharing knowledge, you could know about me. You are here with me. Uh, sir, I want to change my opinion and I, I want to uh, play it on YouTube also. I have no issues in that. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, I'll be with you for 20 minutes. Now, please tell me about yourself. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, good morning. My name is Abhishek Naharia. I am from Jodhpur, Rajasthan. My parents are teachers and my sister is a fashion designer. I completed my bachelor's in law from NLU Punjab in 2021 and my master's in law from Jagannath University, Jaipur in 2022, where I was awarded a bronze medal and subsequently I've been preparing for banking and insurance exams. Uh, my hobbies are uh, listening to old Bollywood songs and walking. Very good. Abhishek, you have enrolled yourself in Bar Council of which state or city? Uh, Bar Council of Jodhpur, Rajasthan. Good. Have you had opportunity of, say, um, practicing in court? I had an option, but I did not go for the same, sir. Can you tell me or justify why? Indeed, sir. Uh, during my college time, I have had the internship experiences from Supreme Court to High Court to Jodhpur High Court to the lower courts. And after interaction and guidance from my seniors and my experience also, I've seen that there is a lot of uncertainty in terms of the professional field of practice, in terms of money and otherwise also. So I did not prefer for the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now... Mm... What do you think will be the job role of yours in our company? Yes, sir. First of all, I would have to make policies for the company. That is the uh, legal uh, work that I have to do. Secondly, I would have to assist the panel counsel. So the panel counsel is the person who argues for the company in the court of law. So I would have to assist him. I would not directly argue in the court, but I will assist him. And thirdly, any work such as underwriting, which is also called the risk assessment. Mm. Yeah. Hello. I think somebody is talking. I should stop that. Uh, please don't talk. Somebody, Abhishek only should talk. Now others, please switch off. Yeah, I have, I have muted others. I have, Gohar Jain, please don't talk. Yeah. Now, yeah, please continue. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, sir. So I mentioned three roles. First is framing policies for the company. Second is assisting the counsel who would argue in the court of law for the company. Third is uh, works which are general EO does such as risk assessment, underwriting. Mm. Yes, sir. What do you know about our... You are appearing for UIC and NIICL? Uh, UIICL, sir. Okay. Tell me about... Uh, UIIC. Uh, UIIC uh, is a company formed af after the 1972 Act, wherein uh, five national insurance public sector companies were formed. And the current and the headquarters of UIIC are located in Chennai. And the chairperson of the same is uh, Mr. Satyajit uh, Tripathi. And the uh, policies in which UIICL mainly deals is a non-life, which is also called as the general insurance, which basically has three categories as per the Insurance Act of 1938. First is the fire insurance. Second is the marine insurance. Third is the miscellaneous insurance, which comprises further of motor, liability, health, etc. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what is the current news about United India insurance and that cyclone? What is that cyclone? Michigonga. What is that? Uh, indeed, what is sir, 
what is the name of that cyclone that crossed our Chennai now? Uh, Michi, I am not un unable to pronounce Michi uh, something. Uh, just uh, sorry for the same. I am unable to uh, pronounce the same. It came in the Bay of Bengal, which is the uh, south east Micha part of India. Michaung. M-I-C-H-A-U-N-G. Michaung. Cyclone Michaung. Cyclone it Michaung. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, so good. it came in the Bay of Bengal, which is the southeast of India, and it mm. hit major cities like Chennai, where the UICL headquarters are located, as well as other areas of Tamil Nadu and some areas of West Bengal also. Mm. Good. Now, um, what is part three and part four of Indian Constitution? Sir, part three of the Indian Constitution is fundamental rights which are the basic rights which a person should get and they are enshrined in the constitution from articles number 12 to 36. Sir, part 4 of the Indian constitutional deals with the directive principles of state policy which cannot be enforced in the court unlike fundamental rights and they are from article 36 to article 51. Oh, very good. Now, um... What are the recent Supreme Court decisions that can be discussed in a forum like this? Uh, in in my uh, knowledge, I do not have recent any... recent Supreme Court decisions. Uh, yes, sir. Recently, there I do not have any knowledge about insurance uh, uh, judgment. Can I talk about any other 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 areas? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, yes. Not necessarily insurance related, non insurance related, also you can talk. Indeed, sir. So, recently, uh, a three bench judge of the Supreme Court delivered its uh, verdict on the same sex marriage. So, although the Supreme Court said that they recognize same sex marriage, but then they said that as per the Hindu laws, which is the Hindu Marriage Act and the Special Marriage Act, a homo couple cannot marry, but although, all, although they said that it can be recognized, the third gender, sure. which is called LGBTQ. And mm -hmm. also there was a, uh, another tussle between the uh, Tamil Nadu governor and the Kerala governor and the CM regarding the passing of bills. So the Supreme Court said that please, uh, so the Supreme Court directed the state government that please uh, resolve the dispute amongst yourselves and please do not make it a fuss to uh, every time come to the Supreme Court. Mm. Yes. Mm, no, no, here... I am looking into live laws. Are you aware of that? Live law yes, dot in. Yes, please. You are aware? Uh, yes, sir. Um, see, it is seen that Supreme Court is going to deliver judgment on Article 370 case in December 11. What is Article 370 case? Uh, Article 370. Uh, deals with the abrogation of uh, the special status of the Jammu and Kashmir, which was given to it in at the time of independence, that is 1947. Yeah. So uh, basically, in 2019, what happened is that the uh, Indian uh, legislature, which comprised of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, they passed the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Special Bill, which uh, gave a special st uh, status, as in it made the uh, Jammu and Kashmir, two different union territories. So basically, mm -hmm. from the special status, now they are converted into union uh, uh, territories. So it right. was challenging. Uh, it was uh, this petition was challenging the same. And mostly, in my opinion, as they were passed from a legal uh, a point of view in the parliament, and they are constitutionally valid. So they must be upheld. Now, coming to Hindu undivided family, can you tell me something about? What is a Hindu undivided family? Uh, yes, sir. An HUF is a term which is basically used somewhere in the corporate line and somewhere under the Hindu Marriage Act also. Hindu undivided family has the head who is known as the Karta. And Karta is the male, uh, the senior most male person such as the grandfather, the father mm. and the son. Mm. In a Hindu family, sir. You know, uh, what is your view regarding who can be the karta of the family? Sir, as India is a patriarchal society since long, 
and the things are changing but if there is a male person in the family he should be the karta and if the person is not there and if there are uncertain circumstances because of which he dies then the female the senior most female may also be the karta super good i am happy this is what i see now on the screen woman can be karta of hindu undivided family hindu law does not limit women's right to be hu of karta delhi high court has given a judgment recently good you are in touch with the current uh, thing you are from jaipur or delhi uh, sir jodhpur rajasthan jodhpur rajasthan good 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 now in the recent bank interview also they have asked questions regarding um, say the controversy latest governor versus chief minister issue please talk yes. to me about that Oh uh, yes, sir. So this year there are three areas where this issue is going on. So basically, in <clears throat> in Delhi, what happened was the lieutenant uh, governor, who is the administrative head, and the CM. So they had a tussle between them, and the same is going on in Tamil Nadu and Kerala as well. So in mm -hmm. all these states, sir, there is an administrative dispute between them. It is more like I should exercise the power and you should not. So this mm -hmm. is basically. dispute between them and the supreme court has recently said and they have uh, said in a harsh tone that please do not uh, bring all these dispute to the supreme court as you can also solve it between yourself sir because the powers are already given in the uh, laws of the constitution and state laws that governor can exercise these laws and cm can exercise these laws but then also there is administrative uh, tussle so the supreme court has said please solve it amongst yourself don't bring everything to the supreme court No, no, that is not the judgment. No, the judgment was, they said that uh, governor cannot hold the bill for long. He has to oh, pass yes, it. Yes, are sir. You, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, uh, I, perhaps you are confusing with uh, Delhi uh, lieutenant governor. But yes, the sir, one I, I am talking is about Tamil Nadu, then uh, Kerala. Kerala, Kerala. Yes, sir. I'll just come to that. Uh, can you give me just two minutes? No problem. Uh, thank you, sir. Sir, uh, regarding Tamil Nadu and Kerala specifically, what is happening is that there is a space. Uh, there is no specific time limit enshrined in the constitution that the governor can sit with the bill. For sir, so what happens is after the bill is passed from the legislative assembly, then the governor has to give assent to the bill to make it a law, which is also called an enactment, the actual law, the act. But then now what is happening is that the governor, because it comes un under the central government. so if there is a political rivalry there the governor is sitting on the bill means he is not giving the assent on the bill so because of which the act is not passed because of which the welfare of many people the people who would have benefited out of that act they are not getting the benefit so uh, yeah. th this is more of a political game so let me give you a case there is a yes. case of a person working in a government or department Yes, he has been given eight thousand rupees basic pay instead of six thousand rupees basic pay. Yes, and this went on for twenty-four long years. Yes, so what do you think would have been the decision of Supreme Court in this case, namely whether it is okay for that person to have received more money? or it is wrong for that person to have received that money he should pay it back or what are the other ways of decision that can be taken in this case indeed sir sir a judicial decision should always be based on the sound principles of natural justice and the basic principle of natural justice is that uh, no one should get more than what he deserves so no one should be benefited of what of more than what he should should have got at the first place so whatever the extra income or extra salary that he has got got i think the same should be returned back to the employer yeah exactly to the government huh? but of course the, the the supreme court went a step higher and said the people who have sanctioned are responsible for it they should also make good the laws and yes. it is like a favoritism Yes. It is like a favoritism. That's what they have told this. Very good. Now, some more legal questions for you. Please tell me 
what is hypothecation uh, <clears throat> pledge and hypothecation are uh, some terms used in the indian contract act uh, where which deals with the movable property so when a movable property is kept with the an another person uh, for some consideration like for example i keep my car for uh, to another person mm. for some money consideration uh, supposedly i have to take a loan i need i am in need of money mm. yes. so why are you hesitating and talking like this you could have simply told in the case of auto loans the auto or the vehicle that is purchased is hypothecated to the bank the possession continues to be in the hands of the borrower or the owner of the vehicle i want you to talk from the angle of the possession from the angle of ownership etc okay oh, yes sir please tell me something about mortgage uh, mortgage is a term defined in section 58 of the transfer of property act wherein the transfer in the immovable property is given to another person for securing a loan transfer is not given the documents are given no sir, i, I uh, yes sir i said the transfer of interest is given ah, the in, property you were you omitted the word interest okay, transfer so of, yeah it doesn't matter good so how long is the mortgage valid uh the mod the same will be mentioned in the mortgage deed sir that is uh, registered if it is above 100 rupees no 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 not that way yeah mortgage is normally i am talking about law of limitation uh i'm sorry i'm un unable to recollect it at the it moment it's 12 years it is 12 years okay the limitation period of a mortgage yes sir yeah 12 years agreement then um, mortgage etc they are valid for a period of 12 years a yes. demand promissory note is valid for how many years uh promissory note uh i am unable to recollect at the moment what is a promissory note uh a promissory note has been defined in section 6 of the negotiable instrument act 1881 wherein a per when a person promises to an another to pay some amount in money so rather than paying in cash he uh, signs a promissory note for the same that means a note for some amount of money to another person are you happy with the, the answer given by you uh, no sir technically a promissory a promissory note is a financial instrument that contains a written promise by one party to pay another party a definite sum of money either on demand or at a specified future date okay yes. it comes under negotiable instruments act being a lawyer we expect you to define these things properly <clears throat> yes sir have you heard of cryptocurrency what is that uh as per as far as i can recollect cryptocurrency is a type of currency which is a digital uh, currency it is not like a, a piece of note Mm. so basically a digital so when people in uh, exchange uh, money in digital terms it is known as a cryptocurrency which we also call as a bitcoin mm. bitcoin only one mm, currency is there or so many other currencies are there uh, there are different kinds of uh, crypto currencies but uh, mm. the one which very, comes in the very good Suffic sufficient please tell me what is cbdc what is uh, cbdc sir as far as i can recollect it is the central board of uh, direct customs uh, i may no, be wrong no, no. central oh. bank digital currency okay i'm sorry so what is the difference between cbdc and cryptocurrency uh, sorry i won't be able to answer cbdc is a recognized um instrument in that it is recognized by government of india or reserve bank of india whereas the cryptocurrencies they do not have any government authorization or approval so as a 
person going for national insurance interview, it is not that they are going to ask only insurance. They will ask any other thing which as a common man, you must be aware of. Please upgrade these ideas also. Yes. Very good. Now, can you talk to me about Dr. Ambedkar? Indeed, sir. Uh, Dr. Ambedkar is also known as the framer of the constitution, wherein a constituent assembly, uh, he was also, he also named Article 32 as the heart and soul of the constitution. He is well recognized amongst the uh, scheduled castes and scheduled tribes in India, which are the backward classes, and he worked for them, not only as far as the education is concerned, but also as far as lift, lifting their economic standards are concerned. Sir, recently in the Supreme Court premises, the Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's uh, statute has also been unveiled by pre our President Srimati Draupadi Murmu and our Chief Justice of India, Shri, Dr. Chandrachut. Last question for you. Tell me about Mizoram elections. Uh, in the recently conducted uh, elections in Mizoram, I am unable to recall the party name, but uh, the Mizo Front has not won. It was the second largest party. I am unable to recall who won the name. Of ZPM. The party. Some ZPM. The oh. abbreviation is ZPM party has won. And it is, they have won 27 seats, major, uh, more than 50% seats. Huh? And yes, it sir. seems that person is uh, an IAS officer. Yes, sir. Very good. Thank you so much. You answered well, but always there is scope for further improvement uh, in any interviews. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, God sir. bless you. I wish you, you success. And um, I have given you a set of questions. It yes. is not a must. The questions will come only from therein. Yes. And also simultaneously be going through every day's newspaper. Many yes. times they do ask questions from that day's newspaper. Yes. For example, today's newspaper, Times of India has Supreme Court telling, did you go through news? Illegal migration, a crucial problem. What is the government doing about it? Yes, sir. About what are they making a reference? Uh, sir, from uh, migrants from Bangladesh specifically? No, no. The recent uh, uh, mention is about Myanmar. Uh, Recently, yes. about last week or 10 days back, uh, yes. a lot of people have migrated from Myanmar, say, Burma, Myanmar. Okay. So that is what is. So you must know the current events. Sure, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.